As a mobile DJ, yes, your job is to play music, but at the end of the day, you're being hired to provide an experience, and a big part of that is lighting. DJ lighting can completely change the mood and atmosphere of the venue you're playing at, so this could mean the difference between a pretty good night and an unforgettable one. The good news is, this doesn't have to be difficult or expensive. So in this video, we're gonna walk through a few different types and categories of lights and show you what application you would use them in. And we're also gonna set up our lighting rig to give you some ideas. So the first category of lighting we're gonna look at is one of the essentials. It's stage and wash lighting. So this is an effect that you would use to provide a solid wash of color to a dimly lit room, similar to the effect that we've got behind us with a LED strip providing the color to the backdrop here. These lights do come in a few form factors, the main one being a Parkan, just like this Chauvet Slimpar T6. This is generally something that I'll use on a T-bar hung and usually pointed at the roof, but um, anywhere in the room um, that'll shine some nice colour to give you a bit of atmosphere. They do generally come with legs if you want to pop them on the floor or on a table as well. Um, the Beams TP46 is a truss uplighting light, so you can use that in the trussing or against the wall to provide a bit of a V shape. So you can pop them around the venue to dress it up a little bit. So the good thing about wash lighting is there's no sort of wrong answers with these things because of how versatile they are. Next up is moving heads. These are one of the more exciting light effects you can add to your rig to create some movement in the room. So as per the name, these are moving heads that move in multiple directions. So this is the AVE Cobra Head 150. It is a spotlight effect, so it projects shapes with sharp edges around the room. You can also get them in wash effects and hybrids that mix the two effects together. You want to pair these up with a smoke or a haze machine so that you get the beams of light coming through as they move around the room. Now onto effect and party lighting. So this is one of those categories where you're spoiled for choice. Um, there is lots of options out there that provide different lighting effects. One of the classics is the Derby effect and the Chauvet Kinta HP does this perfectly. Um, you've got RGB and W LEDs on the inside for various colors. And it's something that I would put onto the rig that would provide some interest into the room. So these project some really cool patterns that move around uh, the room and the dance floor. Um, so I would typically aim this down at the floor and at the crowd um, while the music's playing for a bit of interest. Um, the cool thing about this particular fixture is that on the back you've got options to change to the uh, sound active mode or the auto modes. You can also change the speed of the motor on the inside as well. So at the beginning of the night you could have a slower speed while things are just warming up. And then as things crank up, turn the speed up and you've got a instant uh, atmosphere boost there for you. So again, this is something where there is lots of options online. Um, our website has a bunch of options for these with videos that you can check out. Um, our showrooms at our stores also have all these fitted out that you are more than welcome to come in and have a look at. Now onto the fun stuff, lasers. This is another category of lights where you're gonna be spoiled for choice on different designs and patterns. Um, you're going to come across two main categories, the first one being a multi-point where you've got a unit with one laser that gets divided into hundreds of little lasers that move around the room. Um, a scanner is the second type um, where you've got a beam of light coming through the smoke and creating more of a club effect. So this is generally a light for a mobile DJ that I would use in a backyard effect or a more informal event um, rather than a wedding or an engagement party or something like that. For your entry level, the AVE Terminator range is a great option, available in green, red, and blue. Um, for the intermediate and pros, definitely check out Laser World for the CS1000. Um, Multicolor and much brighter and vivid beams of light with this one. This is another category of lights where you want to use them with a smoke or a haze machine so that you get the beams coming through the smoke. Otherwise, you're just gonna get a sort of pattern on the wall and nothing through the air. Now onto what I would call your nice to haves. So these are lights that I would keep on me, but not use at every event. So I'd use them on a case to case basis. The first one of these would be a strobe. They're really cool for a backyard party or a rave or something like that, but they would suck at a wedding or something formal because they're really jarring. They flash really bright and really fast. 
So cool for that effect, but probably not for a formal event. Uh, the next one would be UV lighting. Really cool, one of my favorites, um, but again, don't need it at every event. It's something that I would use if I need a bit of atmosphere because it would light up your bright clothing, especially white, um, and your neon colors. So neon themed party, even Halloween and that sort of thing, they work really well at. Um, but again, not for every party. If customizing your own lighting rig seems a little bit overwhelming, you've always got the option for an all-in-one package. The Chauvet Gig Bar Move behind me here is the ultimate. You have five effects in one with a unit like this. Wash park hands, a moving head, party effects, disco lighting, lasers, and the strobes all comes in one package with something like this. They come in a nice bag that you can bring into your gig. All you need to do is open it up, pop up a stand, pop it on, plug in the cable, and you're ready to go. And just to touch on, we have mentioned it numerous times already, but um, having a look at smoke and haze machines is the best way to bring your whole lighting rig to the next level. So in terms of smoke machines, you've got the Hurricane 1000 here for medium to small size events. You've also got the AVE vaporizer range, which is great bang for buck as well. I love to use haze machines personally because rather than having a big squirt of smoke um, in one area, there's something you can leave and run continuously. Um, venues don't even know you're using them, but they just enhance your lights and bring the whole thing to the next level. So that just about covers it for all the scenarios you'll come across when setting up for a DJ gig. So let's hop down to the showroom now and show you how we would set up for a party.